Well, I... I bet you guys didn't see this one coming. I mean, neither did I, but here I am. So, Luna, you're doing another LP. But you, you don't like doing LPs anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. Had a lot of time away from making traditional LPs. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch and posting the content here and well i've not even been streaming a lot on twitch i mean i'm nearly taking a month off it's just it's it's difficult to stay motivated sometimes so you may be asking yourself well why should i watch this series if i don't even know that you're going to complete it because i've been a little bit inconsistent with projects well my answer is you won't be seeing this video until i know that i'm going to complete it or i have completed it already so i'm gonna Pull it together, not be impatient, and upload this series when I know I'm going to finish it or it already is finished. So, with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fire Emblem 6. I didn't think I'd be let's playing a Fire Emblem game either, but I'm in a bit of a Fire Emblem mood at the moment. Um, so I wanted to play something, and Fire Emblem 6 is one of those games that I know enough about, but I haven't played uh in a long time for it to like still be interesting to me and on top of that i'm not just playing fire emblem 6 as i hopefully have put in the title this is project ember so it's fire emblem 6 but rebalanced adjusted all that good stuff and i did a test of it i played quite a ways into it actually before uh, like uh quite a while ago actually just to see how it was and i was thoroughly impressed with it um I, in my opinion, it doesn't replace the original Fire Emblem 6, but it's just something else fresh. And honestly, I think I prefer it. And it's just something that's fun to play. It's going to be a chill let's play. Uh, I'm going to be going through the story, and I just hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it's kind of like a callback to my traditional, all the, all the stuff when I would play, you know, Final Fantasy GBA games and all that good stuff. And... Uh, Let's not talk about Fire Emblem 3 Book 1, that was a mistake, but uh, yes, of course. So yeah, if you like the video, please make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future parts. And I'm just really happy to be back releasing something. Obviously, I've been doing my Dragon Quest videos. Those have been super fun to do. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. So we, of course, are going to be going on hard mode because we're pros. And this is going to be like a somewhat Iron Man. Like, I'm going to try not to reset, basically. Um... I don't know I, if you guys want to keep count of the deaths on screen, like on the overlay, I'll add it somewhere. And of course, now I have my neat little avatar, which I use for streaming. I thought I'd use it here as well. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Man and dragon once coexisted in harmony. However, man shattered that harmony with a sudden onslaught, a great war. Now known as the Scouring, was fought for the dominion of the land. Losses were tremendous for both sides, and in this war, the very laws of nature itself were twisted and distorted, bringing chaos and unease. Defeated and humbled, the dragons disappeared from the realm. Mankind then began to rebuild and repopulate their newly won land. A millennium has passed since then. Alrighty. So, welcome to Alib. After defeating the dragons, the humans of Alib quickly spread their culture and civilization to the farthest reaches of the continent. In the west lies the kingdom of Etruria, which is widely considered to possess the most refined culture in all of Alib. Kingdom of Bern, with its powerful military and logical pragmatic people, is located on the other side of the continent, in the east. These are the two most powerful nations in Alib, with the weaker nations situated between them. Whose smaller lands are the Lycian League, whose numerous territories are independently ruled by a number of marquises that are bound by a vow of allegiance. Ilya, but people arduously till the frozen soil and many become mercenaries to earn money to survive. And Sakai, where various clans ride through the plains on horseback. Although there are occasional clashes between these nations, the majority of people in Alive live in peace. That peace, however, was not to last. King Zephyr of Bern has commanded his forces to conquer the entirety of Alive. Bern's armies first attack Sakai and Ilya, ruthlessly massacring all who oppose them. Now, Bern is mounting, a merciless invasion into Lycia. 
Ferro is territory of Lycia, known for its beauty and honorable lords. Ferro's Lord Roy was in Ostia, Lycia's largest territory, when the invasion began. He had been sent to study to become the next Marcus of the Ferro territory. However, the sitting Marcus and Roy's father, Elliwood, who has been ill, has sent for Roy to return to lead Ferro soldiers in defending against Burn. Marcus Hector of Ostia leads the Council of Lords in Lycia. At the same time Elliwood sent for Roy, Marcus Ostia's daughter Lelina was in Ferro visiting Elliwood, who is Marcus's Ostia's longtime friend and confidant. Upon receiving his father's message, Roy hurries home, taking with him his vassals and Bors, a knight from Ostia who is responsible for leading the safety. The story begins when Roy reaches the outskirts of Ferre. It's one of the reasons I like Fire Emblem 6, uh, the Project Ember patch, that's what I was trying to find the words to, is because it, Vanilla Fire Emblem 6, the characters are very, very unbalanced. There's very few characters, well, there's a set handful of characters that are viable, and then a set handful of characters that are just complete memes. I'm going to see here that actually in the Project Ember, most of the characters, if not all, are actually viable, which is what makes it a lot more fun, in my opinion, because we get to use characters you wouldn't normally get to use in FE6. So there you go. Boss, they've all hidden themselves inside the castle. Ha, even Elliwood, the greatest knight in Lucio, is no match for an illness, it seems. <laughs> you were right when you said there wouldn't be many soldiers. They're all getting ready to defend against Burn. Of course I was right, I'm always right, you fool. The reinforcements could be here any minute. Alright, you cuz, listen up. Kill everyone in the castle while we still got time. Then we can waltz out of here with all the loot. <laughs> Castles ain't the only places to loot. Let's go around, take the villages, and take everything they got. Lord Elliwood, we're under attack by bandits from Mount Balm. I understand. Thank you, Miltonus. Blasted. Were I not in this pitiful state, I would take care of them all myself. Lord Elliwood? Lelina, you must hide yourself. This castle is going to become a war zone. And Lord, I can fight too. Don't be absurd. I couldn't face Hector if something happened to you in my own castle. Father, but... It's going to be alright. Roy should be here any moment, so we just need to hold our own until then. I drive off these bastards. Was that always in the translation patch, or was like, this a thing that we've just adopted from, from Awakening? <laughs> Need his help. Yes, my lord. Alright, here's the starting squad. And some, yes, so the other thing that Project Ember adds is some characters have readjusted palettes. Um, which is pretty interesting. I, I think generally all of them look really good. It's Lance, what's the matter? Why are you in such a hurry? Lord Roy, bandits have appeared and are attacking the castle as we speak. Oh, is the Marcus unharmed? He's inside, defending against the bandits' attack. But I don't know how long he can last with his illness. Excuse me, Lance, is Lady Lelina safe? It must be a knight of Ostia. Lady Lelina is in the castle. Should be alright. Some bull Eddie would after all, but he can't last forever. Oh. I shouldn't have let Lelina go to the castle before me. Lord Roy, we won't regret one cell of anything. We must retake the castle. Walter's right, we must make haste. Yes, you're right, there's no time to despair. Very well, two arms. Our target is the castle. We must rescue everyone. So, welcome to Project Ember. I own them six, so I'm gonna go over all the units just briefly what I think about them. And I'm gonna just, I will briefly mention the differences from uh, them in Project Ember to Vanilla Fire Emblem 6, if I'm, you know, if I can remember. Um, I believe there's a source somewhere, or you can check out Project Ember website if you want to know, like, the adjusted growth rates of some of the units and stuff like that. So, of course, we have our Lord Roy. Uh, Roy is notoriously not great in original Fire Emblem 6, mostly because he gets such a late promotion. He's footlocked and sword locked, and every map in this game is a seize map, so you are required to get Roy across the map, which can be a little bit tedious. Um, in Project Ember, he's a lot better. I believe he gets his promotion quite a bit earlier. I can't remember exactly which chapter, but he gets it quite a bit earlier. His base is vastly improved. He has 9 speed, which is much better than Roy's uh, original bases. Just, I just know that. Um, and I believe the rapier is a little better. Again, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe I'll bring up some comparisons on screen if I can remember, but you'll be able to check out like a source to see. But yeah, Roy is generally better. He obviously is, still does have the problem of being 
sword foot lock. Um, but there are, I believe there are a couple extra ranged swords, which personally I'm not a general fan of. I think that ranged swords, like magic swords, are handled better in games like Genealogy. For, for example, I think the GBA games, every patch tries to implement them. They, I don't know, it just it doesn't really feel right. <laughs> I don't know. Um, there are some things that I prefer in vanilla FE6 to this patch, but overall I do prefer this patch better. Uh, next, let's talk about Marcus. He's, of course, our Jagan unit. He's our group member for Paladin. Not much has changed about Marcus from uh, from base game. In fact, he might be exactly the same. His bases look pretty pretty familiar and he comes with his silver lance and iron sword which is really good walt is notoriously one of the worst units in binding blade and he's made much better here just because of his bases uh he's still an archer and archers are still archers but i believe walt gets a personal bow there's a lot of personal weapons in this game that makes the units more viable and he also, his base is just so much better. I mean, he has 10 speed, 7 strength, 9 skill. I mean, these are just above and beyond what Walt was even close to before. Oh, and of course, yes, uh, bows are actually 2-3 range um, in this game, which is interesting. Um, it definitely makes things, you know, it switches things up, so that's cool. I can't remember if all bows are 2-3 range, but, you know, the standard iron bow is 2-3 range, so... Is that. And then we got the Twin Cavs, Alan and Lance. Uh, I don't believe they have changed too much outside a few bases changes. Like, Alan's strength is, yeah, definitely not that high in vanilla FE6. Um, as well, the accuracies, like, the accuracy in FE6 vanilla is very low and very, like, difficult <laughs> in the early game on hard mode. Uh, yeah, from the looks of things, accuracy has been improved upon. And Lance is here, he still has an Iron Sword and a Javelin. So yeah, uh, Lance, Alan has higher uh, Sword Rank. Lance has higher Lance Rank. Nice Lance, and yeah, Lance is the fast one. He's 11 speed of base, which is pretty crazy. 8 strength, but I mean, Alan still has 8 speed, so I think they're both, you know, both pretty good. I generally like the fast calves in most games. So, we'll see. Like I said, this is gonna be a pseudo Iron Man. Um, so we're just, we're just gonna be seeing who we're gonna be using. And then Boars is incredible. like, it's not even funny how much better Boars is in Project Ember than in original, because Boars is an armor knight that's four move, his move is up to five. He has four move, he is landslocked against an early game that is just full of axe units. And he's slow as shit, and he doesn't even do a good job tanking, he just gets doubled by everything. Uh, now he has better bases, I believe, and the biggest thing is that he has access to swords. He's now a sword and lance knight, which is amazing. And yeah, six speed, I mean, I think it's already better than what he had before. He's just much, much better, and he's a little bit higher level. Um, so if you want to, like, a early promote general, I guess you can do that. So yeah, that's all the units, and... Let's get into the chapter. It's been 14 minutes and we're just starting, but I just I wanted to go over all the units. Um because obviously there's, there's a lot of changes in this patch. Um but yeah, I'm gonna try not to be too reckless. There is steel axes on generics in this first chapter already, so you do have to be pretty careful. And the axes here, iron bow. So yeah, let's see how our units fare. Oh, I need to change some settings actually. Want mission here, yeah, take speed fast. I think that's all I need to change. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's much better, but the enemies still hit hard, so it's not going to be a complete walk in the park. Like, we haven't just been buffed, and the enemies have received nothing either. And yeah, this is what's great. Like, Walt is actually super freaking good now, because he can attack from three range and he has a good speed. So he's perfect for setting up kills. It's it's quite ridiculous, actually. Um, yeah, and we can see Roy is just so much better. So I am gonna actually have Walt set up this this kill for Roy here. Yeah, as you can see, the colors have been adjusted. The UI. I mean, I think this this patch is just incredible. They've done an incredible incredible job um, of rebalancing the game. So I am going to play pretty aggressive here on this first turn, I think. I'm going to clear out this bottom area. 
as much as possible. We're gonna avoid pulling this Merc and just deal with these. Deal with these Axe Fighters. Um, let's see, we can have Alan come over here. Yeah, Alan can one around this guy if we make things a little bit safer for him. Although I don't know how we're gonna do that. I think I might have to actually just tank. Yeah, the Roy could be in danger, but he doesn't one around one of these guys, so he should be fine. Unless he crits, but that would be that would be kind of awkward. Yeah, so I'm gonna have Mark sit there. Hope that Roy's gonna be okay. But yeah, as you can see, like this is so much better now. <laughs> it's it's quite ridiculous. So yeah, let's do this. Look at that Armonite oh, Boars, hell yeah. I mean, this is what I mean about units that you wouldn't normally use in vanilla F6 at all. Which is what makes this patch a hell of a lot more fun, I think. And yeah, I can safely do this now, although I don't really fancy getting worn around it. So I could pull this Mercenary actually with Alan and um, with Lance, sorry, we're rather safely. This guy is 12 speed, yeah, that's fine. Although, that's not a reliable kill whatsoever. Mm, let's just try it. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, nice. So, 23 damage. Okay, it doesn't one round, and Roy isn't gonna one round this guy. Yeah. So, we should be okay. I'm gonna put Alan here so no one can get attacked twice. That's good for me to get in the castle. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, good, he dodged. Even better. Oh, I didn't even double this guy. Ah, I forgot to swap back to a sword. That's... That's not good. But... I can't get attacked by anything else now. Because that guy's in the way. Yeah, the enemies are a bit more aggressive. I think in original, they kind of just stand still until you move into the range. I don't think they actually move to you. As far as I remember, um, I mean, yeah, Paul's gets double by this guy, but he takes no damage. It's kind of hilarious. But I do have to deal with this area pretty quickly here. So I think I'm actually going to give this kill for Walt. Let's keep him out of harm's way. And we can just pick off this guy. Walt's good too, guys. Like, look at this shit. Three range and he doubles. So I may actually use Walt. <laughs> okay, and then... I would like... That archer to be taken care of. But I don't really want to put anyone in range of all of this. I mean, Marcus could do it, but that would be a lot of experience stealing, right? <laughs> Lance is also very injured. Look at that. Beautiful. So I could actually do... Nah, I didn't double. What about Alan? The Iron Man. So okay, Alan can take off this guy. And then... I'll just have Roy maybe come down and do this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to send... I'm gonna have to send Marcus up here, I think. This is also a little bit scary, just having this guy here. Hmm. What to do? Roy's so close to one rounding this guy, holy shit. Just doesn't doesn't one round the steel axe dude, which is a bit of an issue. 
I need this guy out of the way. I mean, he could crit, but then he's gonna be left injured, which is pretty bad. I'd say we just get rid of this guy at least. Oh, you what? Wow. Welcome to Fire Emblem, I guess. God oh, damn it. That's actually really bad. And I'm gonna end up leaving Walt there. Shit. Oh, that is that is that is that is, <laughs> that is a really bad miss, Alan. Like a really bad miss. Okay, this guy does 16 damage. That's 10. I think wow, Walt actually survives on one HP. He actually does. Survives this guy and this guy on one HP. That's crazy. So yeah, I need Marcus to kill this guy. And then if I hit one of oh, this is really bad. <laughs> Oh, I need Roy to, to dodge. I really need Roy to dodge this. Might just be worth resetting if not. <laughs> okay, perfect. Badly he didn't crit, but that's okay. Now, now I just need Lance to hit one of these shots. Although he actually still gonna be in range, I think. But this guy won't kill anyone. You won't... Oh yeah, but they could all team up on Alan. Oh my god, this is actually way harder than I thought. Holy shit. Uh, uh... Wait, how much defense do you have? Eight? Is this guy gonna kill you? Maths is so difficult. Uh, seven damage? Yeah, you're dead. Fuck, oh, dude. Wish I had Super Kanto. Yeah, I get, I get attacked in every direction. I'm gonna have to bank on some dodges here. Okay, well not the enemy dodging. Oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> what? What? There's no way. There's no way that just happened. I'm gonna die to the fucking Merc now. Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? This is a great start. Um... Yeah, you're super dead. Holy shit, you're dead as fuck. Wow. That's so bad. I'm not gonna let someone die really this early, I would just reset, but they, this is bullshit. <laughs> if I die here. Wait, he's going for Roy? Okay. Is Roy gonna die? Are they all gonna gang up on Roy? No. Yeah, okay. Good start. <laughs> okay, well, I'm basically back on the same turn. Like, turn three. Uh, Roy got hit this time and Alan got hit, uh, but Lance is okay, so I need to be a lot more careful now about how I do this. Um, obviously we got to worry about these guys up here. Ideally I want Marcus to pull these guys and maybe get rid of this archer. That's like the ideal scenario. Uh, it's really unfortunate that Lance doesn't double this merc. That really does suck. Um, I basically just need Alan not to miss against this Merc this time. And then I should be okay. If I miss again, then I'm, then this, it, this, this is wrapped. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I miss another 90% on that damn Merc. Okay, so this makes life a lot easier. I had a really unlucky start, like holy shit. I was so stupid. 
Uh, so, yeah, we can have... Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be better actually just have Walt take care of this guy. And then... Yeah, so I'm gonna have Marcus actually come up here. Wow, he doesn't kill it with this Iron Sword? I'm actually gonna have to use Silver Lance, but I want this Archer gone. So, it's worth it. Marcus is still a pivotal unit, but isn't. I don't have to rely on him as much as I would in normal hard mode. Or, oh, like, well, vanilla hard mode. Uh. This shouldn't. kill. How much damage do these guys do? 18 and 19. Yeah, that's a that's a lot. He would die, so I'm just gonna play it safe. Yeah, that's why I played it safe, because I knew he would end up getting hit. And none of these guys can hit hit, so as long as Roy can do this, which he can, this is fine to do. Even though it is a little bit scary having Roy that low. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, Marcus is gonna be okay. It's not something I thought I'd say. I did have to put the Silver Lance on him. Okay, wait. No. Surely not. Okay, well he just missed. Surely, are you fucking shitting me? Yo, I suck at this game. Okay, well, this time I was go what I was going to do is have Marcus attack this guy with the uh, with his iron sword and then just have Walt finish it off, but Marcus apparently got a crit. So, yay. I, I guess uh, that solves that problem. So maybe now I can actually finally fucking <laughs> play this chapter. Holy crap. It's a really bad, really bad start. This is embarrassing. <laughs> this is not how I wanted to start this LP, but I guess this just, just goes to show that hard mode Project Ember is still actually quite challenging. So... Don't, don't bash it too soon. I really hope Lance can kill this guy, because I might have just killed Roy. Okay, thank god. <laughs> that would have been awkward. But hey, yeah, I guess it's an interesting first episode. Didn't think I'd be spending this long on the first chapter. <laughs> Marcus isn't gonna get decimated by axes by now, this time. And he's actually leaving this guy alive, which is nice. Oh, he's actually leaving all of them alive. Yeah, the enemies are just way beefier, which is good. Because so are we. See, I, I, I mean, I highly suggest if, you, you, if you've played a lot of FE6 and you're really familiar with it, you will find a fresh, a breath of fresh air in this patch. That's for sure. Highly recommend it. Alright, well that's a lovely little bit of experience for us to grab. Hey, are you knights going to the castle? I know this isn't much, but please accept this money on behalf of all of us. Use it well. Money! We got money. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give... Let's check up here. Hey, yeah, Lance can pull this guy. I, I, I don't know why I generally just lean towards the green cav in most games. Actually, that's a lie. That's a complete lie. That is, that is, a, that is just a fib. I like, uh, I like Kent more than Sane. And I like Sully more than Stahl. 
Mm, but I like Alec more than Noish. I guess, I don't know. I don't really, I guess I don't gravitate to either one. I just like, I like Lance. I'm not gonna try and bullshit you anymore. Or needs to heal. Let's move him up and pop a pulmonary. Oh yeah, and pulmonary is uh, I think they healed 15 instead of 10, which is like great. I think I can't remember actually. I don't- is this the- is this the patch where they heal to full? I have no idea. It might be. It might be like every 5 No, it's 15. Yeah, 15 HP. I've always said the vulnerability should be 15 HP. 10 HP is way too little to be actually like... I don't know, I just think 15 HP is just a better number. It's a vulnerability, like it's... it's it deserves better. <laughs> That's just what I think. Can't all have it like FE5 where they heal to, heal to pull. But FE5 just. I mean, that's, that's just different. Well, that arch could have got me, but he stayed still. I guess these guys want to. They seem to want to come as a pack. I'm going to keep trying to bait them out, though. Yeah, in most cases, 15 HP is just like. Way better. But I always like it when. When hacks do that. Okay. He came, came for me this time. I wonder if they're all going to move now. Nope. They did not. I don't know if these guys are going to move, but this guy can't reach. So maybe... Maybe another kill for Lance. Yeah, three range bows are fucking awesome, actually. It doesn't suit every game, and it shouldn't be in every game. Like, for sure. Maybe I should give it a Cult of Roy, actually. But... It's fu I do enjoy three range bows. <laughs> Alright, first level up of the LP, and it's crap. Good start. Good start. Uh, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to pull more than one of these guys, particularly. Oh, no rescue. Don't need the rescue. Yeah, I mean, Bolt still has five moves, and I did send him to the village, which is probably a mistake, so he has to kind of pull him behind a little bit. But that's okay. Look at this, Roy's actually good. I mean, he's still frail as shit. So he has two shot, but I mean... Shit, it's a hell of a lot better than what we had before. Okay, I'm fairly certain the boss doesn't move. I don't think they were that mean. But watch me get fucked over by it now. It would be pretty typical. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have Walt safely get this kill. I actually do want to level him up. It's like, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, he gets a personal bow. I think he gets it from Lolina in chapter 6. But I could have just made that up. Uh, okay, Roy can't reach to do anything. I can't reach that archer, which does suck a little bit. And I don't know if I want to... Yeah, I don't want to do this. I just... I'm going to let them come to me. Just going to... Just going to stick... Uh, stick marks in the bush. Yeah, we, we, we've had an interesting first chapter, that's for sure. <laughs> you guys know what you're getting into now. But I, yeah, I won't be res I will try and not reset for deaths now. I wanted to reset since the first chapter, and I felt like I got very screwed over. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to not reset too much, and actually, like, let people die, because there's a lot of units in this game, and all like nearly all of them are actually usable now, which is fun. So I like I I don't want to just stick with the same 
the same units that you always end up using. Uh, let's go, boys. Let's get you a kill. Because why not? I felt like it. Probably wasn't an optimal choice. Yeah, I mean, 20 experience. That was kind of dumb. Um, wow, Roy doesn't double a, a, an archer. Huh. Nice dodge. Lance is nearly level 2. That'll be good. Wait, not level 2. Level 4. I don't start level 1. Oh, I can't... I can't reach that guy. That sucks. Uh, oh, this is kind of bad. This might be kind of bad. Wait, hold on. How does Alan fare against the boss? Yeah, he doesn't get one shot. He doesn't... Yeah, he's fine. I can actually have Alan just get this kill. All right, Alan, level up. Let's go. Skill and speed. I mean, he needs more speed, so that's good. Um, I would love for Roy to get this, but I don't think that's going to happen. Unless Marcus... Well, well actually, no, it is going to happen. Because Marcus isn't too overpowered. Wow. Would you look at that? What a good unit. Holy shit. Now, I will say the thing about three range bows is that you can boss abuse like crazy. So I might try and do that. Because, like, most bosses are, mo uh, are uh, stationary with a two range weapon. So, all you need to do is just get your archer and uh, just go to town. But I'm not going to do that for too long, because that would get really annoying. But like, I can just sit here and do this. He'll keep healing. He doesn't even have a two range weapon, actually. Unless he's just not got it equipped. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of hilarious. I'm kind of paranoid he's just going to get up and move now, though. That would be... That would be really bad. Yeah, he will heal and shit, so if you have him at high enough HP, I mean, Walt would kill him now, which is kind of hilarious. But if you have him at high enough HP, you can... You can just abuse him, but I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna give Lance this kill, get him a level 2. Everyone, nearly everyone got a level up. So strong! Oh, yeah, that's a lot of experience. HP, skill, speed, resistance. Okay, that's not bad. And yeah, every map is a seed, so yeah, well, what's left to do now is seize the throne. Oh, the Lelina! Roy, is that you? Roy! So glad to see you both. Thank goodness you're unharmed. Thanks for the rescue, Roy. Of course, Father. How is your health? Well, enough. I have some life in me yet. Roy, do you know why I called you back here? Let's take over your role by leading the soldiers of Foray. You must join the rest of the Lysian army to defend our people. Exactly. As you know, Burn has commenced an invasion of Alicia. We are honor bound to follow the ancient vows of our allegiance. Alicia needs every lord's army, and we must oblige. Of course. I'm truly sorry to interrupt your studies to force you into this war, but I'm not well. I'm in no condition to lead an army. Father. What, Elliwood? I'll go with Roy. Father leads Alicia's largest army. I'm certain my magic will be of help to Roy. No, Lelina, you must return to Ostia. Why? After preparing for battle, there is no one sitting on the throne of Ostia. Must be an easy feeling for the people to not have a sitting lord. As the daughter of the Marquis, you must take throne until Hector returns. That will put the people at ease. Have any objections? No, my lord. Or I have arranged a contract with a group of mercenaries. Or well, to meet them at the border to burn, Melanus will accompany you. He is knowledgeable and experienced. It should be of great help. Thank you for everything, father. Don't worry, my son. I have absolute faith in you. Fight bravely and show everyone who the next Marquis of Foray is. Yes, father. Boys, well, I have a favor to ask of you. You need to ask, my lady. I will come with Lord Roy in his travels and protect him with my very life. Thank you, boys. Take care, Roy. And well, you too, Lelina. We'll be seeing Lelina soon enough. But yeah, okay, thank you guys so much for watching. That was chapter one. A pretty eventful first chapter with all the memes we had. But I hope you did enjoy and look forward to more. Please subscribe if you want to see the next episode. 
and I will see you guys then. Take care. Bye-bye.